and welcome back. Well, earlier in the show, we heard from Common Ground volunteer Carol Swan about the continuing education producers get this time of the year. You can see that interview again later this morning on our Pure Nebraska Facebook page. And right now, Carol is back with another recipe to share. And what do you have for us this morning, Carol? I have a hot broccoli dip. Uh, my sister-in-law, Teresa Livers, did this for Christmas. And needless to say, it got eaten up right away. Uh, we'll start with uh, butter. And I, uh, I always use real butter. We, we saute butter. Uh, we saute onions, celery, and you saute these, we'll have to go faster, but we saute th these in the butter until they're tender. And then uh, chopped broccoli. And I left the broccoli in a bag because I'm not very good at grocery shopping, but I did find this chopped broccoli in a bag and you throw the bag and everything in the microwave and cook it. And I thought, oh, how cool is that? Yeah, perfect. That's pretty, pretty fun. So you just saute until they're tender, add some garlic. I, I prefer the little jar of garlic. Uh, some cayenne pepper, that's op entirely optional on the cayenne pepper if you want that or not. And you stir and stir and, and until it uh, gets tender. Then you can add a can of cream of mushroom soup, kind of the staple for everything. <laughs> it really is. It's the awesome. staple for any yes. kind uh -huh. of food you're going to eat. Then we have, uh, it says Velveeta Mexican cheese, but there are jars of kind of the queso cheese that you can use, and uh, cream cheese. Cream cheese is kind of, lots and lots of recipes utilize cream cheese, and it's so good. Everywhere from desserts to cheese dips to you name it, cream cheeses can be in it. And as you stir and melt and stir and melt, and it makes just a delicious, super delicious. And then as I was cooking this at home, I thought, hmm, you could use this, add another uh, bag of broccoli, you could use this for the basis of a chicken casserole or a beef, beef broccoli type casserole too, which I'm not a very creative cook, but I thought, well, that would work. Huh. And then if you want to add almonds, I am adding slivered almonds at the end there. And then I have uh, some little crackers and little pieces of uh, gourmet bread that you can put it on too to serve. And uh, it keeps... You, you do all this and then you can put it in your little chafing dish and serve at a party. And uh, like I said, the kids loved it. Looks good. I'm going to run over there and grab some. Okay, I, I would. I think we need to yeah. try that. Yeah. yeah. And like I said, the using this for the base of a chicken mm -hmm. casserole, I think. I'm going to try this when I get it home. Ooh, yeah, this looks great. <laughs> wow, okay. I'm going to take this one here and I'm going to run over. Okay. And let John try it too. This okay. looks amazing, Carol. <laughs> It, it really smells is. So great. Fun. It does smell good. Yeah, it's nice okay. to have you in the studio cooking. That smells really good. <laughs> Here you go, John. Okay, should I try it? Give it a yeah. try. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, it looks like you have it on different kinds of, you know, crackers and bread. Toast mm -hmm. and that sort of oh thing. yeah, all kinds mm -hmm. of things. Wow, this is really good. And I have such good resources mm -hmm. to help me with my food. Mm -hmm. I'm mm -hmm. not a I'm not a foodie, <laughs> but I have people that are foodies, and they help me out. Oh right. yeah, this is good stuff. And this recipe is already on our Pure Nebraska Facebook page. If you would like to copy it down. Carol, thank you so much. Well, thank you so much for having me today. Okay.